Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Oz's Fish Room. I just wanted to do a uh, quick introduction to my aquascaped tank here. Um, there is some CO2 being diffused into this tank and that's one of my main focus points here. Otherwise I'll just go over the tank here real quick. Um, large sponge filter, CO2 diffuser in the back, um, Amazon Sword, uh, Java Fern, Anubias, um, uh, Rotala, um, this plant, I know the name but it's so long and difficult to, uh, to pronounce and you can actually look it up very easily. Um, and then I've got some type of grass growing down here, um, some Monte Carlo going down there. Um, and then I've got some Rummy Heads, some Serbia Tetra, a school of eight, and some uh, cherry barbs in there. Uh, my favorite fish by far, well, I don't know about favorite, but one of my favorite fish are the Rummy Heads. I love the Corydoras. <laughs> They're just, you know, if you have had Corydoras, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> They're just fun to watch. They're absolutely adorable. Um, followed by the uh, Serbia, Serbia Tetris. And then um, uh, the Cherry Barbs. I'm not too sure about the Cherry Barbs. They're kind of cool, but they don't really school that much compared to the Rummy Heads. And the, um, uh, the Tetris. So... Um, I've got a little bag of peat moss back there, and I've got some uh, media that I've had for ever and ever that I just use. Um, of course, when I'm starting up new tanks, it's uh, great to have a little C4 filter running. Um, I'm working on getting some Lexon covering for the top here. Uh, that's a work in progress. It's going to be uh, sliding. Um, at some point, uh, just doing a little heat test here with this Marine Land um, 6500K light, which is working out pretty well. Um, the plants seem to be pretty happy. Um, there is um, Miracle Grow in the soil here. Uh, it's thicker in the back than it is up here in the front, um, where I've got the sand. Um, so there's miracle grow on the back, where most of the plants are, and then on top of that, I've got some Floramax and um, CO2 bubble tester, and then DIY CO2 bubble counter. Um, my main thing, I guess, that I wanted to focus on here, though, for right now, is this dude. Um, I don't know if you can see it with the glare, but this CO2 diffuser. Um, it's got a little 40 to 120 gallons per hour, um, tiny, let's see, yeah, it's hard to see, um, pump, which is basically right there. Cost me six bucks on Amazon.com and I have basically plumbed it directly into the diffuser. And then, as you can see, the diffuser just basically is spinning and diffusing CO2 directly into my tank. I'm wondering what people think about that diffuser. Um, this is my second diffuser now. For some reason, the um, first one stopped spinning. I did a bunch of testing, cleaning, and it didn't work out. So I have to figure out how to maybe... Um, um, get some sort of a lubricating uh, liquid or figure out some way to keep uh, that impeller working longer than that, a few months. Can't keep replacing the diffuser even though they're only 12 bucks 15 to 15 bucks every few months. I'd just rather, you know, set it and forget it. But, um, yeah, so... We'll see. This is uh, definitely a work in progress, this tank, but I am happy with it right now, and I am having fun with it. 
So thanks for tuning in, everybody, and uh, until next time. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm not much of an editor. I just don't have the time right now. So you're going to see that in the video, unfortunately. I'm just trying to get some schooling going in here. A few laps back and forth. It's really amazing to watch these fish just swim back and forth so gracefully. So beautiful. And this is a 55 gallon tank by the way, if I didn't mention that. <laughs>